the future Formula One champion be a woman? Today, we delve into the journey of Maya Wug, a rising star in motorsports. As the first female driver to earn a spot in the prestigious Ferrari Driver Academy, Maya is not just racing against competitors. She is also challenging the norms in this high-octane sport. Has the time come for female racers to lead the pack in Formula 1? Stay tuned as we uncover the trailblazing story of Maya Wug. Welcome to Pole Position, your ultimate pit stop for all things Formula 1. In today's episode, we're shifting gears to focus on a name that's not only revving up the world of racing, but also rewriting history, Maya Wug. As the first woman to join the ranks of the esteemed Ferrari Driver Academy, Maya's journey is a testament to her extraordinary talent and unwavering determination. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thrilling F1 content. We'll be exploring Maya's journey from karting prodigy to becoming the first female star in the Ferrari Driver Academy, and now a rising figure in the Formula Regional European Championship. Her groundbreaking achievements set a new precedent in the world of motorsport, paving the way for future generations of women in racing. Maya Wong's journey in the fast lane began in the quaint town of Oliva, on Spain's sunny Costa Blanca. At the tender age of seven, Maya was already zipping around the karting tracks, her hands steady on the wheel, her eyes fixed on the prize. It was here on these winding tracks that Maya's innate talent and fierce determination first came to light. Even as a young child, her approach to racing was meticulous and disciplined, showing a maturity beyond her years. By 2014, at just 10 years old, Maya was making waves in the Formula de Campeones, a crucial platform for budding racers in Spain. Her ascent in this competitive arena was nothing short of meteoric. Demonstrating remarkable skill and precision, Maya navigated her way through intense races, often against more experienced competitors. Her dedication and hard work paid off spectacularly in the last race of the season. In a breathtaking display of skill and nerve, Maya clinched a victory that not only earned her a third-place finish in the championship, but also marked her as a promising talent to watch in the racing world. In the same breath, she took the Spanish karting world by storm, landing a podium finish in the Spanish championship. This achievement was more than just a win, it was a statement. Maya's success in one of Spain's most prestigious karting championships heralded her arrival as a serious contender in motorsports. Her performance caught the attention of the karting community and signaled the beginning of a journey that would take her far beyond the tracks of Costa Blanca. As Maya's reputation grew, so did her skills. She became known for her aggressive yet controlled driving style, her ability to read the race, and her unshakable focus under pressure. These early years were formative for Maya, not just in honing her racing skills, but also in building the mental and physical resilience required to excel in such a demanding sport. Her achievements in these initial stages laid a solid foundation for her future endeavors, setting her on a path towards greater challenges and triumphs in the world of motorsports. 2015 was a year of near misses and what-ifs for Maya. She entered as a favorite to win the Spanish championship, but faced a setback at the pre-final of the last round at Motorland. Despite starting from the back, Maya's grit shone through as she clawed her way back to fourth place, narrowly missing the championship but securing the vice championship and the SEPSA trophy. This resilience set the stage for her triumph at the end of 2015, where she made history as the first female champion of the Copa de Campeones. Maya's international breakthrough came in 2016. Joining the Team Magic, she competed in the WSK in a Mini 60 class. Her skill and determination led her to the top kart factory team, and it was here that Maya truly shone. She finished fourth in the European X30 Challenge, the WSK Night Edition, and secured several top 10 finishes in the Italian Championship. The crowning achievement of her karting career came when she clinched the title of WSK Final Cup Champion, marking her as an international talent to watch. Maya's talent did not go unnoticed. In 2021, after a rigorous selection process in the FIA WIM Girls on Track Rising Stars program, she was chosen to join the Ferrari Driver Academy. The Ferrari Driver Academy, or FDA, is not just about refining driving skills. It's a comprehensive program that shapes young talents into complete racing professionals. Members of the FDA undergo a rigorous regimen that goes beyond the track, 
involving mental coaching, physical training, and educational classes. The program emphasizes developing the mind, as around 90% of drivers' performance is believed to be mental, focusing on stress management and psychological resilience. This holistic approach has successfully produced several remarkable talents in motorsport. Notable graduates of the FDA include the following, Charles Leclerc, Sergio Perez, and Lance Stroll, among others. Charles Leclerc, who joined the FDA in 2016, quickly stood out with his exceptional performance in GP3 and F2, earning his place in Formula 1 with Sauber and later with Ferrari itself. Sergio Perez, part of the FDA from 2010 to 2012, demonstrated his prowess by achieving multiple podiums in F1 including a memorable performance at the Monaco Grand Prix. Lance Stroll, another FDA alum, made headlines as the second youngest F1 driver to secure a podium finish. These drivers exemplify the success of the FDA in nurturing and developing world-class talent for the pinnacle of motorsport. This wasn't just a step up for Maya, it was a leap into a world where her dreams of racing in single-seaters could become a reality. With the backing of the prestigious Ferrari Driver Academy and the Iron Dames, Maya embarked on her journey in the Italian F4 Championship, racing for the Iron Lynx team. Maya's transition to single-seaters in the Italian F4 Championship was a testament to her adaptability and perseverance. The 2021 season was a learning curve, with Maya experiencing the highs and lows typical of any racer adapting to a new format. In 2022, she returned for her second season in Italian F4, this time with more experience under her belt. Her performance was marked by significant progress, scoring points in 9 races, and achieving a best position of 6th both in Imola and Misano. She finished 13th in the championship, a notable feat in a field of over 40 drivers. As we move into 2023, Maya faces a new challenge with KIC Motorsports in the Formula Regional European Championship by Alpine. The pre-season testing has been promising, and the support from the Ferrari Driver Academy continues to fuel her aspirations. Her journey is more than just a series of races and podiums. It's a narrative of breaking barriers, of a young woman carving her path in the adrenaline-fueled world of motorsports. Stay tuned as we continue to follow Maya Wood's journey, from a karting enthusiast on the sun-kissed racks of Spain to a potential Formula 1 contender, her story is not just about speed, but about the relentless pursuit of a dream. Do you think we'll see Maya Wood in Formula 1 in the future? What does her journey tell us about the evolving landscape of motorsport? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Today, we took a closer look at Maya Wood's incredible journey, from karting champion to Ferrari Driver Academy star. Her path is not just about speed and trophies, it's about breaking barriers and setting new benchmarks for women in racing. Remember, the race isn't always to the swift, but to those who keep on racing. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the exciting world of Maya Wug, hit that like button, drop a comment, and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Full Position for more gripping F1 stories and updates.